Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you my recipe for chicken pot pie soup. This soup is super easy and is perfect for chilly fall weather, so I hope you guys enjoy. Today's video is also part of a collaboration put together by Kat from Southern Farm and Kitchen. I'm going to link her channel down in the description box below as well as a playlist where you can find a whole bunch of autumn soup recipes. So for this recipe, you're going to need one large chicken breast cut into bite-sized pieces. You'll also need two large carrots, two medium-sized russet potatoes, a half a cup of sweet peas, one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of biscuits, any kind you like, some shredded cheese, and some milk. I used about two and a half cups. I also added a little bit of frozen sweet corn. So I'm just going to start by peeling and chopping my potatoes and carrots to get them boiling on the stove. You could also use a bag of frozen mixed veggies if you want, but Adam and I both can't stand the taste of frozen carrots for some reason. I don't know what it is, they just aren't good to me. I started making this recipe when Garrett was a baby. It was quick and easy and you didn't need a ton of ingredients, so it's super budget friendly. By the way, this recipe fed the four of us perfectly, so if you have a bigger family, you may want to double it. So now I'm just going to add these to my pot of water and get them boiling. Now I'm going to get started on my chicken. Like I said, I cut one chicken breast into small chunks. So I'm just melting about a tablespoon of butter into my pan. I have no idea why my camera did not want to focus right now, I'm sorry. I promise it'll stop. And once the pan was super hot, I also added a little bit of olive oil as well and browned my chicken. And to this I also added some salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and seasoned salt. For the soup itself, these are the spices I'll be using. I have some salt and pepper, minced garlic, onion powder, seasoned salt, dried rosemary, and parsley flakes. Once my chicken was cooked through, I got started on the soup. I added two tablespoons of butter to my pot and I also added about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'll add in about a teaspoon each of all of my other spices. I have my pan at about medium heat and I'm going to start adding in my salt and pepper, onion powder, seasoned salt, parsley, and rosemary. Then I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of flour to make a roux. I added in a splash of milk to keep the garlic from burning. And then I'm going to add in my can of cream of chicken soup. Now I'm going to add in my milk. I added one can full at first and ended up using two cans full, which is about two and a half cups. Once this was all combined, I added in my cooked potatoes and carrots and my chicken. I also added in about a fourth of a cup of sweet corn. And then I'm just going to let this simmer while I make my biscuits. When the soup was almost ready, my biscuits had about three minutes left, I added about a half a cup of frozen peas. When the biscuits had about one minute left, I brushed them with butter, garlic, and parsley and baked them for one minute more. I just top my soup off with some shredded cheese and a garlic butter biscuit. This soup is so delicious and is so good on a chilly autumn day.
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And if you have any good autumn soup recipes we should try, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Kat's channel and the autumn soup recipe playlist down in my description box below. And if you haven't already, we'd love for you to join our YouTube family, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and we'll see you guys next time.